All right, so everybody listen up. My name's Nessinator One, and I'm here to make a point. God damn it, a point. I wanna vocalize my frustrations today. That's right, my frustrations. Not with Call of Duty. Not with um, anything to do with gaming, actually. My frustrations lie with all of the community here on YouTube. These scumbags that you know you are. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm just amusing myself right now. A little bit of freestyle on the mic. One and two. Spit. Chicka chicka. Any respect on the mic. Yeah, you know, some people treat this like it's like it's an MC battle, and, and quite frankly, that's idiotic, okay? I did a little freestyling back in my day, okay? You don't believe me? I can spit it right now. I, I'll spit. The sun is shining and the weather is sweet. I can taste victory while you smell defeat. If the good die young, I'm better than Bowser. Got a higher IQ than Doogie Howser. But I ain't an MD. I'm an MC. Never freestyle for free. Can't you see what you do to me? Absolutely zero. I'm the only hero. A Clark Kent with no kryptonite. Why you wanna fight? I can rhyme all night. Like Clinton, I impeach you after I teach you what a leash do. I put a Glock to your gotta for fucking with my medulla oblongata. Pray to the Heavenly Father, for you were the only one that sinned with my voice projected in the wind. You're going down in defeat, face to heat, give up the seat. You see me with the eyesight of a bat. My rhymes come ten times fatter in fact, because I'm slaughtering every adversary. The best dressed Puerto Rican in the West. Step to me, get two to the chest. That's what I do, I'm lyrically blessed. That's right, this is all the freestyle that I do off the top of my dome. I don't even need to do it, you know why? Because my pistol is chrome. Uh, you know, I'm serious. I'm like, you guys, I'm dead serious. I got skills. I got mad fucking skills on the mic. So I don't need to prove shit to no one. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I actually did do a little bit of that, of that stuff back in my college days. You know, I was a little bit, uh, you know, I always like to enjoy writing. I told you guys I'm a writer. I always enjoyed the whole, um, the thing about writing lyrics and all that. It was fun. I, I enjoyed that. And, and that's kind of what I got into for a little bit in my college heyday years. Uh, my Van Wilder years, as I call them, because I was a lot like Van Wilder in my college, the party guy. And, you know, uh, sooner or later you grow out of it. But you know what? I still love hip-hop. Don't get me wrong. Uh, you know, I got a lot of favorite MCs out there and all that. I listen to... And that's another thing. I don't listen just exclusively to hip-hop. I listen to rock, rap, everything. I just uh, enjoy good lyrics and good, good, good music, you know? I mean, who doesn't? Who doesn't? But anyway, so... <laughs> I don't even know where I was going with this whole video. I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn on the mic and I'm just gonna start talking. And that's pretty much where I'm at with this. This gameplay clip that you're watching here in Advanced Warfare is a game of domination. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I go 39 and 6 using the ASM1 Strider. And you know the thing about the Strider, it really hasn't worked as well as it used to before this patch came out that they recently did. Now I know it wasn't a major nerf that they did to the ASM1. But for some reason, my Strider just does not feel as, uh, you know, dangerous as it was before. Now it just kind of feels like the bullets go a little bit everywhere, you know. Sometimes I'm shooting a guy straight up, and it doesn't seem like I'm hitting him at all. Uh, another thing I get a lot in this game is a lot of bombing runs. I, you know, I drop bombs on the bishops and the pawns. Now, uh, I, I, I definitely drop a lot of bombing runs here. And I think I killed myself only once out of all the times that I dropped my bombing runs. I told you. Uh, I'm notorious for doing that, throwing out the bombing runs and then just completely getting in the way of them and blowing myself up. Sometimes I don't even hit anybody else and just myself. Hey, shit happens, right? Anyway, uh, good good gameplay clip. It's a long streak too, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that. This is 24 kills in a row. You will see the Relentless Metal pop up uh, and then I end up dying. You know, I, I just keep getting very, very close to getting my Vicious Metal and then I die. Uh, again, I'm not a reverse booster and all that. I play for real. And I just, I'm trying to get it. But hey, it's been a little bit of a task. This game, Advanced Warfare, has been probably the most challenging Call of Duty I've played to date. To be honest, you guys. It really, it is. Uh, a lot of it maybe has to do with skill bass. Uh, skill bass. Skill based matchmaking. I don't know why I thought about bass right there. I just started thinking about fish. I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, so maybe that's the reason, you know, the skill-based matchmaking, is, it, it truly does exist in the sense that it just makes it more difficult uh, 
to, to, I don't know, maybe it's the exo abilities. I, I think a lot of it has to do with the exo abilities, just the complete uh, chaos that goes on. You don't know when a person's coming up from which direction. You know, they get across the map in a matter of seconds. Uh, you know, so all of that stuff combined really adds to the chaos in this game, and, and that's why a lot of people have a difficult time playing it. And I, I can see why a lot of people don't like Advanced Warfare. After a while, though, like anything else, after you put in a little time and a little bit of effort to learning and mastering your exo abilities and the maps, the not map knowledge and all that, I'm coming around. Again, I told you, this game right now, there's that, I get a, what is that, Relentless is 15, right? And Ruthless is 20? Yeah. So that, that that's, that's what happens right there. Anyway, uh, you know, uh, this game, the learning curve was huge with the exo abilities. Finally getting a hold of that, you know, where I, I'm moving around the map, gliding around, I got my routes. And, you know, again, I have a lot of fun with this game, but at the same time, you know, there's a lot of times that I know I shot the dude, I know I'm in his face, and for some reason my bullets go right through him and he'll kill me with two bullets. So, yeah, the lag is real, and I think that's just unavoidable. What are you going to do? Um, there's another, but I don't know how many bombing runs I got during this gameplay. I think I got like five or six. It was ridiculous. I was just like, wow, man, I'm dropping bombs, dude. These guys are just not knowing what's hitting them. And, of course, as the game progresses, people start leaving and people start coming into the game uh you know i talked about that in a previous commentary oh you know you're out there playing by yourself and it throws you in these games they're just completely uh unwinnable and I, I don't understand why they do that there has to be a better program to know when to put a person into a game uh and not put them in games that where there's just it's over and then you have those games where you join and after you join, it's over. I don't know how I killed this guy right here see this strider it's just like yeah i, I got him and then this guy oh, i was ah oh so close but yet so far you guys thanks for all your views subscribes and likes it has to end right there this guy at least picked them off for me after he killed me thanks man thanks for everything guys i appreciate it. this is nestinator one and i'm out